Well, I'm halfway through investigating, um, so I may as well chuck this part in. It's just interesting. Uh, range hood, um, the low speed stopped working, the high speed is working. And I've taken, finally after a struggle, get this motor out of the device. I found there's a hidden terminal thermal fuse in here, so you got um, black is the n neutral, red is one winding, white is the other winding. One winding appears to be continuous, and the other one yeah, there's a nasty little thermal switch in this thing here. Just notice this device here. And that appears to be open circuit. So I'm gonna bridge that out and um, yeah. See, do a test run, see if the motor works. And now I'll backwards step how I've taken this bloody thing apart because it was not easy. A couple of little tricks how to get these bungs out of these things. You've got these horrible little bungs. These type of things. There's a little trick on that to get those out. And I'll show you how to do that anyway. But I'm going to clean this thing up. So here's the motor of the range hood. I'm taking all the other parts out. This is the impeller, so I'm going to clean it as well. And hopefully I'll get it back working on both speeds. So this comes out of a device. Uh, I've done a video on it before. Then when I put the lights in here, so I put uh, two 12 volt light strips in here. They've been going for uh, since the 27th of the 5th. So they've been going for four years now. There's no problems, uh, so there's a little transformateur in there, and uh, try to get this bloody piece apart was a pain as well. So I'm going to clean it all up, and uh, I'll uh, if the video probably out of sequence, but that's fine. Um, hopefully somebody else may have an issue with one of these things. This thing is called a Robin Hood. It's uh, feed from circuit L1 lighting circuit, and I've uh, isolated the device, of course. A good thing to do is when you take these horribles apart is clean this bloody mess up. Just put all the plastic parts, give them a good soak in hot water in uh, this motor casing. Try to clean it up and in the meantime I'll try to bridge out that uh, thermal fuse. So, yeah, let's get the thing going, do a test on the device, see if the device is operational. And uh, inside here I've wiped it, uh, clean it up a little bit better. Well, the thermal fuse appeared to be working, but one of the windings is still open circuit, so it runs at too high speed, so I want to put a capacitor in series to slow the device down. So, now we've got the hood on it. Now, it runs pretty fast, so we're going to slow the speed down on the device. We've now an 8 micro and an uh, 11 micro in series. That one's a lot better. How's the torque? The torque is still okay. This appears to be the best speed. 11 micro ferret in an unknown capacitor, probably 15, so give me an 8 micro, I would say, something around there. I think this is the best setup. This is a 10 and an 11, which uh, makes up a 5, 5.5 five micro uh, capacitor, and that speed is good. The reason we didn't like the high speed is too noisy, so I need to keep the boss happy. So uh, this setup I'm going to implement into the device, clean it all up and uh, put it all back together. little trick I tried to show um, to get these bungs out. Sometimes you get these horrible little bungs. You try to pop them out with anything and that uh, they give you quite a good fight. Um, the way that I usually do it, I put a tap, self tapper screw in here. I've done this already. Um, self tapper screw, tap a hole in the thing. I uh, hope the camera stays stable. Tap a hole in the screw and it actually lifts the whole thing up by itself, which is quite good. I'm not going to stab myself on the camera. This one I had already out, so probably stuffed up. The first step works best because it's uh, tapping in the plastic and you can get these bungs out. Actually, when I made the first hole, it was quite easy. And then you have access to the little uh, knob behind here, which can be simply removed with a spinner. If I can find the spinner, oh, the spinner is here. And you can get in there. So they put these horrible little things in quite often. 
you still have my humble B or E14 adapter for the little power supply on the LED strip lights and the LED strip lights are here so I'm going to put those back in. I'm going to give it a test and it should be all back together so I've got all the scrap back in. Fan is back in place, it's all cleaned off. The capacitors are here for the speed control. Well, I got it all back together. Um, it's working. Speed might be a bit on the low side, but the thing I've set it up, the capacitors are easy accessible. So I only got uh, yeah, speed with capacitor here. I actually could rewire the switch, but I can't be bothered with it at the moment. So at the moment it's one speed with capacitor to have the speed of the motor a bit lower. And as I said before, these LEDs have been in here for uh, four years now. Well, the pre-made B14 bulbs, it's a board and it's also shown in another video, they lasted about three months and then they died. Thanks for watching.